the Bears. Moving, let's, let's shift gears to Chicago. Okay. Okay, okay. Because the Giants are, I agree, going to go with the – and the, the Bears are probably going to do the same thing. Uh, George McCaskey, who had a, just a – speaking of embarrassing, what a press conference that was. I mean, just a – this guy is a – is something else. Um, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a football guy. I'm a fan. Uh, okay. George. And he's like, he's like the board and the ownership has told me that I'm staying on. It's like, dude, <laughs> your mom is the owner. Like, like <laughs> mom. I mean, yeah, I push him of this guy, but whatever. Um, they have, uh, put in several requests for interviews. Ed Dodds, Colts assistant GM, Jeff Ireland, former, uh, former dolphins GM, most notable, uh, most most famous for his or infamous, I guess, for his Des Bryant inquiries at the combine that got him in hot water has actually done a really good job acquiring players as the assistant GM uh, with Mickey Loomis there in New Orleans for the Saints. Um, one could even argue that Mickey Loomis is that Jeff Ireland's doing a little more legwork. Jeff Ireland, Sean Payton, Mickey Loomis got a basketball team to run too. I don't blame him. Um, Morocco Brown, Colts director of college scouting. They have talked to Glenn Cook from the Browns and uh, Kawisi Adolfo Minsa, Browns VP of football ops. Talk about a deep dive into the analytics world. Uh, if they went that direction, they have also, so it's weird, Josina, because the, the Bears are like, we're going to hire a GM first and then that GM will hire the coach. But they're also like already interviewing coaches. So I don't think the Bears know what they're doing. They've interviewed Doug Peterson, uh, they've requested Dan Quinn. Byron Leftwich of the Bucks, offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett of the OC from the Packers, Le the aforementioned Leslie Frazier we talked about, Matt Eberflus, Colts defensive coordinator, Brian Dable, Bills OC, and Todd Bowles, Bucks DC. What what direction do you see the uh, the Bears, or what, what are you hearing about Chicago, if anything? Well, to go back to what you were just saying in the midst of announcing all those names, um, I think, you know, the, the, the clarification is that they'll announce the GM first. <laughs> Right. Not necessarily that they will wait to do everything uh, in succession. Um, as far as the uh, direction, I just think that they are, um, I think all of the people that they're interviewing, um, they find to be quality candidates. They're just trying to find synergy with uh, the interviewee and that interviewee being uh, in alignment with the GM that they would like to uh, bring in. I don't think that there is necessarily any big leaning offense to defense it's just that if it's a defensive candidate that they have to present a strong plan for how they plan to deal with uh you know and bring along justin fields that has been the achilles heels of some of these defensive candidates you know just really ha or are just non-offensive candidates you know joe judge in particular either not being able to work with the oc that they want and or not having one that is just very innovative and can bring the of uh, that unit along. It sunk Todd Bowles in uh, with the Jets. Yep. Um, obviously, you know, you can talk about the Jason Garrett, uh, Joe Judge uh, synergy or lack thereof and um, and on and on and on and on and on. But um, I, I, I really just believe it, 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 it's who they walk away with feeling the most confident in. I don't uh, sense a lean one way or the other. It's just, you know, how, how, what the impression is after these kind of rapid interviews that everyone is doing. And, and to that end, I still every year advocate that I think there should be a quote unquote coaching season that should last, hey. or excuse me, coaching interview season that should just last in the three weeks between the conclusion of Super Bowl and, and um, the combine. And that way everyone is, you know, interviewing on equal footing and yep. doesn't have their attention split between trying to prepare game plans. And now all of a sudden I'm supposed to be like, that's what Aaron Glenn is doing. Now all of a sudden he's supposed to be an expert on, on the Broncos today. <laughs> right, right, right. right. It's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I've been coaching the Lions for, you know, like, I know you guys beat us really badly, but other than that, I don't right. really know a whole lot. Right. Or, or Leslie Frazier, who was in the middle of preparing yeah. the, you know, for a Saturday game, no less, and then has to turn around right after the, that the next day and then, you know, talk to the teams that he's talking to. A Saturday game that, by the way, is on CBS Sports. <laughs> for a super. It's super, a super Saturday game on uh, on CBS. All right, let's take a quick break. And when we come back, we will talk about the other uh, coaching openings.